walking down those stairs. He's a great American artist, brilliant musician and composer, but no one knows it. Funny where talent comes from. And I've been dealing with talent all my life and I still don't understand it. Of course, everybody in his family played music. Brothers, sisters, father on the violin, and his mother on the banjo. His mother used to wash clothes to get Scott piano lessons from a German piano teacher in their town. She always encouraged him. But when she died, well, there wasn't any money left for piano lessons. And his father, well, he believed music was just a home and church thing. There'd be no talk about playing the piano for a living. If the boys were going to get somewhere, he'd go to work with pick and shovel on the railroad. That's what his father did. That's what his brother did. That's what he would have done. But Scott had music in his soul, and the railroad just wasn't for him. So, he left home. The odds were he'd end up some piano player in a second-rate whorehouse. We used to call those piano players professors. I guess they got their degrees in life. And that's the life Scott wanted, at least at first. So he began his career playing for the clientele of the world's oldest libertine institution, the Bordello. favors, Amy? <laughs> I'll stake you. <laughs> Make it a drink. Picking up and moving on, eh? The new boy's all right. If he don't stew up the girls. Seven dollars for the week, you said. I'll make it ten if you stay. <laughs> I'll be gone by morning. None of these cats give a damn about a fella's business anymore. up with me. Mm, they sure don't know how to keep a guy doing that. Well, they got to. Well, I'll let them. <laughs> I'm just leaving. Where are you going? Sedalia. Uh, anything's better than here. In fact, where is here? You, uh, you read that stuff? I write it. Write it? What you want to do that for? Be heard. Well, I heard it. Where 
ain't messing around with that no music for you. The only one can read it. My ears tell me everything. What's in Sedalia? You can read this, can't you? I read numbers. A hundred. Mm. <laughs> you don't just walk in off the street and beat these boys. These are top professors. There's a publisher that words out he's looking for music. You using this for an audition? That's it. Well, you don't mind if a fella goes along and tries to win this thing, do you? Oh, I try to win it. Two got better odds than one. 50-50. Louis Chauvin. Scott Joplin. That's what I mean. I don't believe I've ever seen you before. No, sir, you have not. What's your name? Scott Joplin. Never heard of Scott Joplin. Where are you from? Texarkana. That's a pretty poor place to learn. I learned A flat. I've been tuning pianos much of my life, sir. My ear is trusted as expert by professors up and down the river, many of whom will be competing tonight on these pianos, tuned and perfectly so. Well, I am going to be playing here tonight. And I don't mind a little bump every now and then, but I do mind a flat A flat. You're an entertainer? And a composer. You're published? I will be. Will you be? Really? When will that happen? When I am heard. The man to be heard by in Sedalia is John Stark. Then I will be heard by John Stark. Best of luck, Mr. Joplin. <laughs> 